Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the ng style directive in Angular. So ng style is one of the directive which will apply the which will be used to uh, let's you set a given DOM element style properties. If you are having a DOM element, anything HTML DOM element you are having, if you want to set the style properties dynamically, ng style directive we can use it just like the ng class directive. One way to set these styles is by using the ng style directive and assigning it an object literal like this. So I will try to show you a simple example ng style. So here we are having a simple div, right? So I will be taking one div and in this one I will be having lila web dev, okay? And in this one I will be applying ng style, okay? So ng style will take an object like this and you can apply the styles whatever you want so let's say that i want to apply background color so here it is a red now if you try to apply background color red if i go here and if you try to see see lila webdo has applied a background color of red if i inspect the element and here if i try to show you style background color red has been applied to this one okay so this sets the background color of the div to red so ng style becomes much more useful when that value is dynamic so now here we have made it as in static right it will be much more useful when the value is dynamic. The values in the object literal that we assign to the ng style can be JavaScript expression which are evaluated and the result of that expression is used as the value of the CSS property. Now for example, let's say that here you want to add a proper uh, add thing. So here other component.ts. So here what I can say is, so let's take this one as a boolean. Boolean is equal to true. Now, if I want to take this one, if it is is active is there means is active is there, then I want to apply color of green if it is there or otherwise I want to color of red. So here you can apply. Now is active is uh, true, right? If you are you are able to see this is a green. If it is false means then you will be able to see it has a red color. Now if I try to make this one as a false and now you will be able to see it as a red color so this is how we can make it <clears throat> this is how we can use it uh, and the above code uses this ternary operator to set the background color to green if the is active variable is uh, true or otherwise it will be set to red so now so here what i can say is the expression which we are trying to see here need not to be in line you can also try to write it in a function instead so for example if i want to write the function here so here I can write something like get color. I can use the method and this method I can write it here. Somewhere here I can use the get color and I can return this dot is active is there then red sorry green or otherwise red. So we can return the value also like this. Now if you try to see the output then also we will be able to see the green color. So red color why it is okay this one is in the false right so that is the reason if i make it as a true now you will be able to see it as a green color so now you understood right so ng style we can use it to apply like this also now what i want to what i want you to tell is what there is also an alternate syntax available in this ng style so as well as the ng style for example let's say that uh, if you want to apply a single color if you are having a single color like this and if you want to apply it instead of using the ng style so like just like the style uh, class how you are having you can also apply something like style dot background color you can apply it like this style dot background color is equal to red if i try to apply yellow let's say i will apply yellow style dot background color yellow if i try to apply it like this sorry this one should be a string yeah if i apply it like this then you'll be able to see it as an yellow color so like this, if you are having a single single style means, then you can able to apply it like this. This is one thing. Uh, this is one thing. So style dot background color. Not only this one. So you can also apply it like this also. Style dot color. Now if you try to see, the only the text color will be in the yellow. So like this. So this is what I can say is. So style property also we can do it like this. So now last one what I want to discuss is the so this style dot color we have applied and all those things right. So now we can also give not only like this we can also give the points and pixels also. For example let's say that we are having a font size. 
So here I can take ng style is equal to ng style is equal to like this I will write and font size I want to apply. So font size I am trying to apply 10 pixel. So you can apply it like this. So let's say that 20 pixel I am applying. So font size if you try to apply is the 20, 20 pixel. If you try to see this, so this one Lila web dev will have a font size of 20 pixel. If you try to see here font size we are having 20 pixel. Now here we are able to see. Now here we can also have an another type of syntax in a such a way that so you can also write in such a way that so dot pixel you can write it here like this dot pixel is 20 so you can also write it like this so font size dot pixel is equal to 20 we can also write it like this now this is also a valid one if you try to see here then also you'll be able to see the font size of 20 pixel if i want to if i try to change it to 30 then you'll be able to see the output clearly now here if i show you the output here where is the output yeah here font size 30 we are able to see this font size 30 not only with the font size anything any any units if you are trying to use it you can use it in such a way that property dot unit you can use it not only with this one you can also use the width also you can use it so like this we can use not only with this one font size we can also take the width also whichever the uh, property you are having you can take uh, you can take with like this width dot pixel not only the pixel you can also take pt ems and all those things also you can take width pixel you can give something like 50 pixel like this you can give it now only the width of 50 pixel will be applied if you try to see the output here see lila web dev is coming one by one down because the width of this uh, other uh, div is only 50 pixel and if you want to give it in the em you can write it as an em also here like this we can write it so here also you will be able to see like this em means so it is somewhat very much bigger right so here you will be able to see the em so this is how we can uh, able to do the ng style thing so ng style you can use it if you want to apply multiple uh, uh, properties if you want to apply you can use the ng style if you are having a single uh, style you want to apply means then you can use the style dot color or style dot margin like this you can use the style attribute also so these two are one and the same only that is uh, that is for singular thing and this is for multiple thing that also you can also write it in a function we have already seen the function thing also get color you can use like this also this is all about the what i can say ng style thing so uh, apart from this one nothing is there so this is the thing hope you understood about this ng style what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 12 so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things regarding the ng style so they can watch this uh, code so their github repository ng style directive and here i will commit this all code and let's commit this code publish this branch now what i will do is so here you can have the local host not the local host sorry github github.com slash angular animations now you are here you will be having yeah angular animations and here the uh, what i can say is the code will be committed in this branch whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so they can go to this particular uh, video branch and they can watch the video oh, ho hope you understood about this one the github repository link is provided in the description below of every video you can take a look at that one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you